A holiday weekend usually means one thing, a cookout. Yeah, Allison's live in Appleton to get ready for some grilling. Hi there, Allison. Hey, good morning, guys. We're just fin finishing up here at Barbecues, Pits and Spits. Rex Holbrook has provided us with some grills and smokers to give us some ideas for the weekend. So how did we do here? Should we, we have pineapple over here. I think. Do you want to try a pineapple on your veggie burger? Yeah, I've never done that. Let's, uh, all right, let's, let's try it. Going on the bun. There's a first. Okay. And in the big green egg here, uh, how's the meatloaf doing? That's a good one. Just good. about done. So these are my veggie burgers that we put seasoning on. I've never done that either. Ooh. I'm excited, guys. I've never had a veggie burger, so. Yeah, I asked him if he wanted to try a veggie burger, and he's like, mm. No, not really. adventurous. We've got pork tenderloin that's yeah. been smoked, the meatloaf, and she asked if I wanted to try a veggie burger. <laughs> uh, he's going to stick with what he likes. That was a tough choice. <laughs> and and this was the pork tenderloin This is the here pork tenderloin. That um, our photographer Chris tried for me, and he said it was delicious. Mm. If you can see that on camera, that ring around the outside is a smoke ring. Okay, that. so that's why it's wow. pink there, right? Exactly. Look at how oh. juicy it is. And if you don't have a smoker, you have uh, these bags, right? You know, they work really great. You can take, say, a rack of ribs or two and put it in there. If you want a little moisture, cut an onion and put it in there and just put it on the grill for about an hour and a half at approximately 275, 300 degrees, and you're going to have a, a hickory smoke flavor. Yeah, you can it also use like them. You can use them in your oven. Cool. So even if you don't buy your big smoker, you can still have some ideas. Okay, okay, let me try my, my burger here. Fruits and vegetables in one serving, all under a bun. That's good. Looks and good. And I like that idea, too. Because, Angela, you asked me on Twitter yeah. if uh, I put ketchup on this stuff. And I do barbecue, all sorts of stuff. But seasoning, that's a great idea. Mm. And Rox, too, to get more ideas like this, you have classes here that people can take. We right? do. Uh, June 13th, we have a local competitor and caterer that's coming in for a five-hour Saturday class with... Uh, ribs and different ways to do chicken. Beer can chicken, uh, oh. flattened or spatchcocked or butterflied, however you want to terminolo you know, the terminology mm -hmm. you use on that. Um, you're going to prep your own rack of ribs and take your rack of ribs home and we'll feed you the chicken. So yeah. that'll be fun. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. So happy grilling, guys. And if you want to check out Good Day Wisconsin uh, on fox11online.com, we put some links there to the classes at barbecues, uh, pits, and spits. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> I got it all morning. And also another li uh, link if you are into grilling and veggies like I am. Some ideas for you there, too. So. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Thanks awesome. a lot, Allison. Sure. We'll, we'll see you later. Enjoy. Yeah.